are you struggling with digestion? We have six different tips that you can follow. Digestive problems comes in lots of um, sizes. So there can be the main one that people talk about is a lot of bloating and constipation. That type of digestion issue is an impact of vata. So it means there's an imbalance, there's too much air and ether in your system. So it might be the food that you're eating, like too much cold food, too much salads. Um, you might be running around eating on the run. You might have um, issues with anxiety. Lots of different things can cause that digestive problem. Traveling can cause it a lot. So because you're in the air and um, the air gets trapped in the system and everything gets um, impacted. And so therefore the vata gets stuck, what we call in the colon. So then that could cause the problem. So that's like one digestive issue. Another digestive issue is this reflux indigestion, like this um, feeling of pain or, um, you know, maybe heat in, in the body. Sometimes you can feel the reflux come into your mouth, like you're sort of vomiting some sort of sour sort of taste. That is due to too much heat in your body. So it's a pitta aggravation and pitta um, imbalances that are from having maybe too much hot and spicy foods, too much sour foods. Maybe there's a lot of pressure uh, going on where you're, you know, pressuring things down with stress, or maybe you're under too much pressure or under too much that, um deadline so it's causing all of this inflammation in your body so one of the biggest things to do with that is to take out the foods that are hot spicy fermented sour like you know tomatoes um anything uh, that is like you know yogurts and cheeses and all those types of things they cause a lot of this inflammation in the digestive and then start to have more easy to digest food a lot of people have put on medication like so mark and um you know different antacid sort of medication but the fact is what that does is stops you from absorbing, you know, especially your B vitamins and minerals and nutrients. So if you've been on it for a long period of time and some people come to me and they've been on it for like 10 years, well, this is having a huge impact on your nutrition um, and, and getting those elements that you need as well. The third digestive problem is like this nausea, this feeling like I don't want to eat, this feeling like, you know, no hunger, no appetite. Um, that is more from more earth and water elements. So if, you might be having too much food, which is too heavy and sticky, meat, cheeses, dairy, refined foods, junk food, all these types of things cause this imbalance. And it's usually congested in all the tissues and the channels. So it's actually deep into the body. And then the stomach's job is to churn and digest the food. But when the stomach is not able to, and it's got too much mucus in it, then it wants to come up the other way, right? So um, this feeling. So one of the things you can do with that is sipping on ginger water. And when you're having the ginger tea, don't eat until you're hungry and just keep on doing that. And then if you do get hungry, just have like a light soup. So this will actually start to reset like the digestive issues. So we talk about, and you can read a little bit more like eating right for your body type, but I'd go a little bit further, eating right for your body's in balance for your body type so it's a lot more a deeper process coming your mind many of us are like constantly on the go 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 eating on the run eating in the car eating on the phone eating watching computers and all those types of things like stop and just focus on your food and let that food digest properly and just be really mindful of that overeating if you're overeating then your body can't digest that food and it has to sort of sit there and it turns into what we call undigested food particles which is called ama in ayurveda and the agni digestifier is really low regularly detoxing we talked about in previous videos about like seasonal detox like how the elements of the season accumulate um, so detoxing at least once or twice a year, definitely at the major changes of the season is a good time to do it because your body accumulates that previous season of the weather, the food of that season. But we are constantly like going, 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 and we are building toxins. So even though if you eat well, um, it's a good time to just regular detox. We have a 28 day program that we do. It's a really, really powerful process. Incorporating detox teas, we have the CCF tea that we have given multiple times, the medicated water, cumin, coriander, and fennel. That really helps to uh, your digestion because cumin is like a steroid for your gut. Coriander is really good for the liver and fennel is really good for all of that small intestine absorption. The other big thing is eating your largest meal at lunch. Don't get too busy during the day. Skip the meal and then have a bigger meal and then sleep on that food because that actually causes a lot of the digestive imbalances and the digestive problems. So really work on making those small little changes 
and see what just doing that uh, helps your digestion. But remember, it is an imbalance and you don't necessarily need to take medication to fix this. We've had clients with, you know, who've had constipation for 50 years and we get the bowels moving. We have people who are on reflux medication. We get that going. We have people who have a lot of weight gain and nausea and not eating and wonder why they can't lose weight because their digestion is not working. So wherever you're at, um, there is an imbalance in the system if you're suffering with this and it can be sorted. So let us know how we can support you, but try the tips below because we've given you some different options for you to uh, get into understanding it for yourself. Alrighty, take care. Bye.